What's up guys, it's Dorian. Do you guys ever use GNOME and think that it's kind of a bit of a mess and you wish you could organize it a little better? Well, I'm gonna show you an application that I use and it's called Meow. You can see it right here. I will put a link in the description. You could download the dev file, which I will do right now for the demo. And if you use Debian or Fedora, you have your RPM and your Debian deb and whatnot. And if you want to build it, in case you're not using one of those, you could do that as well. Just follow these instructions. I'm going to go to my downloads folder. Now for Ubuntu, uh, you can do dpkg, but I, you know what, prefer going apt install only because it will install any dependencies for you automatically. So the file is called meow and you're going to enter in your password. And for me, it's gonna say it's already installed. For you guys, it's gonna install it along with any dependencies needed, but I don't think there are any. So fire up, go back to your application, fire up meow. It is the cat face on the blue background. And I find sometimes it takes a little while to load up. I don't know why, but it works anyways. And this also works on 16.04, by the way, I'm using this on 18.04 and it also works just as well. You'll notice that some icons here are this gray background. This started happening in 18.04. I'm not sure if it'll get fixed, but me, I'm not too concerned about it because it still works. So you can see I've already made some additional folders here. If you right click on them, you can delete them. So how it works is I haven't touched the tasks here, just the folders. So if you go in here and let's say, for example, games, I don't want any of the games in there because there's four of them. There's too many. So I want to put them in their own little folder. So we're just going to type in games, hit enter, and then it's going to make you a little games folder. So I had this folder previously and I deleted it just to make this video. So it repopulated with a couple of the games already. But how it works is really easy. You have to first click the unlock icon here and it's going to ask you for your password. If you don't do that, it's not going to let you do anything in here. And then you're basically just going to go through all your files and Mahjong, for example, is one of the games not in my games folder. So I'm just going to take it and drag it over here next near the other ones or on top of the word that says games and it's going to plop it right in there. Now, if you make a mistake or you've changed your mind, you can take one of these and drag it out and just put it somewhere in the white space in between the tiles and it'll drop it back out. Since I did want solitaire in there, I'm going to just put it back right now and you could do this with as many as you want. The changes happen right away. You don't have to save anything. You can go up here. You can search for something if you have a ton of applications, but the changes happen right away as soon as you create and drag things into folders so when you're done all you have to do is close it now if i go to my applications i can see that i have my games folder which i created and updated with all my applications in there other things you could do is discs for example or utilities where you have a bunch of these things like fonts help software and updates, startup disk, where you don't want it cluttering up your main menu because you don't really use it that often. So you can create a folder and just stick everything in there. So that was it, short and sweet. There are a few different programs you can use to edit and modify this menu, but I find this Meow program is the best. If you like the video, like. If you like to subscribe, please do for lots of reviews, tips, and how-tos. And also don't forget, I have a giveaway coming up. I just hit 700 subscribers today. When I hit a thousand, I'm going to be giving away a prize to one of my subscribers. So click that red button down below. Don't forget to share my videos, and you can also follow me over on Twitter at Dorian. Till next time, guys, bash on.